In my last video, I showed you 15 cool video and audio tips and tricks for OBS. And I think the coolest tips that I showed you in that video were the audio filters. The link to that video is in the description. Make sure you check that out first. After we've set everything up, which I did in the last video, let's just look at the filters that we've got going on. If I turn these filters off, you can hear a pretty big difference. Maybe you can hear my clicking. If I open something and type, you can hear it quite loudly. And then if we turn all of these filters on, you should hear a pretty big difference. You can maybe hear my click in a little bit. Maybe not as much as before. The microphone's pretty close to the mouse. And if I type something again, Yeah, pretty big difference. Anyway, that's all cool. Um, and I kind of avoided saying this in the last video, but this only works for recording videos. It doesn't actually work when you're streaming or if you want to use these filters on your microphone in Zoom or in Discord or in whatever you're using, but you can do that. There is a way, I figured it out. I've been wanting to figure this out for a long time. And each time I tried to do it, it just seemed like a lot of work but it's really not. So step by step, let me show you exactly how to make this microphone here with these brilliant filters, your real microphone for anything you use your microphone for, not just for recording in OBS. We do need a bit of software. We need a virtual audio cable. Those three words together give me anxiety, virtual audio cable. It's something that you may have heard of before. And if you ever looked into it, it's just a mess. And you see all these flow charts of how it's supposed to take this and put it through that and put this through here and inside that and around this and over that. It looks mental when you look at pictures of how it works. But trust me, this is going to be so easy. Follow me. The link for this is in the description as well. It's just vb audiocom forward slash cable forward slash. We're going to click download. I'm on Windows. If you're on a Mac, don't click that. Click the Mac. You know that. Let's uh, download it for Windows. All right. It's downloaded. So I'm just going to click the uh, unzipper. Here it is. I'm just going to extract this to the uh, downloads folder. OK, I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to double click VB cable here. And I'm going to right click VB cable setup 64. And I'm going to run this as administrator. Here it is. And I love how simple this program makes it for us. We're just going to click install driver. OK, it says installation complete and successful. You might reboot your system to finalize the installation. You don't need to. I didn't need to the last time I tried this. Let's just click OK. It takes us to the thank you page. We can close that. Now that that's been installed, that might have changed a few little settings such as where you're actually hearing your volume. So I'm going to go to my speaker down here. See, it's it's already the VB cable. It's become the default speaker. And I just want to change that back to my headset so I can hear things in my headset. Make sure you do this right after you install the virtual audio cable um, because I don't want you to freak out thinking, I can't hear anything. You can, it's just going into a place where you're not listening. Select your playback device uh, back to whatever you want to use. I'm going to select my headset. What we want to do, just to make sure that this will actually work, we want to check that OBS can output the microphone, the input, as an output. Basically, I just want to see if I can hear myself in, not this microphone, in this microphone. I don't need this. So I'm going to go to Yeti microphone and right click it, or you can click the cog and go to advanced audio properties. What we want to do is make sure whichever microphone we're using, we want to monitor and output the microphone. So once I do this, here's the Yeti microphone, click that, click monitor and output. Once I do this, you're going to hear me twice and I'm going to hear myself as well. So check. check. It worked. OK, I could hear myself twice. The monitor works. That's good. Let's close that. Turn it off. Close it. Go to settings now. And you want to go to audio. And here where it says monitoring device, you want to click that and choose the cable input. 
the VB audio virtual cable, which is what we just installed. Click that, click apply and click OK. Now, once we go back to our microphone, our Yeti, we click advanced audio properties. If we monitor and output it now, we are not going to hear ourselves twice. Why? It's going into this virtual audio cable, which is acting as a speaker. And that speaker is going into a microphone, a virtual microphone, which is then acting as a microphone. Which means all of the filters that I'm using here are going to be applied to this virtual microphone that I'm using. And I can use this virtual microphone anywhere I want as my real microphone. It's done. That's it. Let me prove it to you. So if I go to Zoom, and let's just make a new meeting, um, I'm going to click the microphone section here, and it wants to choose which microphone I want to use. Now, if I just use the Yeti, it's going to be this raw audio, the microphone's raw audio audio, what it sounds like without any filters. But if I click the cable output, it's going to sound like the microphone that's going through OBS with the filters, because it's going through OBS into the virtual cables, back out, and that's it. So if I just record this meeting, and um, I'm just going to talk a little bit, and right now it's my Yeti microphone, but if I just uh, click over to the cable output, um, it's still picking up my microphone there, and hopefully the OBS filters have been applied. Let's click stop recording and end meeting. The moment of truth. Let's just listen and pray the microphone worked with the virtual audio cable. Let's check. And um, I'm just going to talk a little bit. And right now it's my Yeti microphone. But if I just uh, click over to the cable output, um, it's still picking up my microphone there. And hopefully the OBS filters have been applied. So it seems to be working. Now I'm going to try this with another microphone because maybe you want to try it with uh, more than one microphone. So you can hear me through this, but what I want to do is go to advanced audio properties again and make sure this microphone is being monitored and output as well. So I'm going to go into my uh, headset filters. Let's click that and filters. Can you hear those dogs outside? It's actually helpful for this test. Um, and I'm going to turn off the filters. Okay, so you can hear me without any filters right now. Now, if I start recording, right now there aren't any filters applied in OBS, but the microphone that I'm using is the cable output, VB Audio Virtual Cable. If I go back to OBS and turn on these filters, you should hear a big difference as I turn them on. And hopefully that's coming right through the microphone into Zoom. Let's listen. Recording. Right now, there aren't any filters applied in OBS, but the microphone that I'm using is the cable output, VB Audio Virtual Cable. So if I go back to OBS and turn on these filters, you should hear a big difference as I turn them on. And hopefully that's coming right through well, the difference wasn't as great as I hoped it would be, honestly, uh, but I think it definitely works better with the Yeti. Okay, so the Yeti's back on, and I want to give this another try, um, and actually I want to try it somewhere else. So let's turn these filters off, and let's go to a voice recorder, and let's uh, just start recording. It should be picking up my voice as normal as I'm clicking. Um, hopefully this is using the audio, virtual audio cable. And I'm just going to turn off all these filters, bop, bop, bop. And hopefully you can hear a big difference. You can hear some background noise and stuff like that. And uh, let's turn them back off. How does it sound? Let's turn them back on. Is there a big difference? I really hope there is. I nearly stopped recording my video then. That would have been stressful. Let's just listen. Just start recording. It should be picking up my voice as normal as I'm clicking. Um, hopefully this is using the audio, virtual audio cable. 
and I'm just going to turn off all these filters. Bop, bop, bop. And hopefully you can hear a big difference. You can hear some background noise and stuff like that. And uh, let's turn them back off. How does it sound? Let's turn them back on. Is there a big difference? I really hope there is. And there was. So that is basically how you get your OBS filters applied to your microphone in real time and not just when you're recording. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you want more content like this. And if you have any questions, just comment your questions. I'm always in my comment section responding to people as soon as I can. Thanks for stopping by and until next time. Cheers.